Okay, today I just wanted to make a quick video to show how to extract uh, individual items from an XREFT um, drawing. And I'll kind of get into it and show you what I mean. So first, I want to just XREF um, a plan drawing um, or roadway design here. So this is a project we did just for a bridge job. So I'm just okay. Design. Okay. So it just pops in. So I just need to zoom extents to find it here um, and then this is kind of the main area um, that we've used so one of the things you know I'm creating a survey control document so I want to be able to extract some of these benchmarks um, from the XREF and be able to manipulate them individually so right now you click on them obviously it highlights the entire XREF um, so there's a couple steps here one of the tools you'll need is actually kind of hidden right now um, so what I want to do is come up here drop down here and I want to show the menu bar um, so this pops up a whole new menu bar which is, is fairly useful um, for a lot of different things and has a lot of different tools so I actually want to go to express drop down and go to blocks and I want to copy nested objects and it gives you a little cursor to select the objects. So I want to select, and I'm going to select the whole icon here. Um, so it's got each individual part. And then right click, enter, and then it says to pick a base point. So I'm just going to select here and then just copy it there. So now obviously it looks the same, but now you can see it's highlighting just this part that now I can move and manipulate. So I'm just going to do this for reference, but I want to scale this for a bigger drawing. And again, I'll start here. Um, and I'll just make it two and a half times bigger. Okay, here. Now, obviously, there's this kind of it's still residual in the XREF, um, but you can always turn off the layer by just freezing that individual layer like that. So now we've kind of made that a little bit bigger to be able to see. Um, so that's pretty much it for this. Thanks.